Today I'm buying two new lenses and I thought I'd share with you the process and how I find those lenses, how I find those cameras and how I make sure they're actually worth while buying and so on. So the whole process. Yeah, so what I use here in Montreal to find uh, vintage cameras and vintage lenses is a, a website called kijiji.ca and uh, it's paired with an app that you can have on your smartphone. It's very popular here in Montreal so you have sort of a, a lot of choice that allows you to find what you're really looking for and what's really fun is with this app you can search for something and create alerts and once you're alert once once you've had some alerts set up you're going to receive a notification whenever you want uh, about those alerts and that allows you to really stay up to date on what's new to that marketplace one more thing i like about kijiji is that it's local so you're helping local economy and also you can actually meet up physically with the uh, the seller i know uh, during this COVID time it's not the best thing but you can actually meet up before you buy uh, the lens or the camera so you can test it out and check out if it's uh, if it's actually mint or there are some defects and so on and so on obviously if you don't have kijiji.ca in your area there's the usual ebay.com ebay.ca and uh, any uh, you know local classifieds So once you've found the camera or lens that you're looking for, the last step is to contact the seller. And that's the reason why I'm in Saint-Jean-sur-Richelieu today. That's an hour uh, away drive. And uh, since I was going to be on the road, I figured I might take some, uh, some pictures around. And I found another camera. So I, I uh, basically regrouped. So right after here, I'm going back downtown Montreal to buy another camera and a lens. All right, so I don't have a lot of time, but I, this is the lens that I bought myself. It is a bit broken on the uh, release button, but it, you know, it goes on properly. So it's, it's not a problem. So um, really excited about this buy. Just a bit disappointed the release is uh, is broken, but hey, that's uh, that's what it is buying vintage lenses. And I tried it on my Nikon. Uh, the uh, the image is uh, superb, so I think I'm gonna try it tonight. I didn't have enough time to load a film in my camera today, but I figured I'm gonna try some night photography right after I bought my, uh, uh, my, my second stop tonight, right after my second stop. So I'm gonna load this just in case I find a few things interesting enough to, uh, to shoot on my way. I'm 10 minutes away, I have an appointment at seven. Uh, so this is the first time I'm trying this one. It's a Fuji film, Fuji film, yeah, Fuji collar. Pro 400H. Apparently the colors are really, really nice. So I'm gonna load that. Right. So this is good. Let's go buy some cameras. wrap up of my shopping around uh, I I ended up not buying the second lens 
uh, that came with a Nikon F601. I already have an F801. I'm not too big of a fan of those automatic, more recent uh, film cameras. Um, and and the, the, the camera itself didn't seem to work fine. Um, the battery was not... Uh, uh, the battery was not uh, working properly. I couldn't test the camera and the lens. I thought it was a 28 mil to 200 mil, but that could focus around, uh, you know, uh, one or two feet away or 50 centimeters away. And, and the minimal uh, focal length was 2.1 meters. So uh, I ended up not buying it. So that's part of the hunting and uh, shopping around. Now I'm really glad about the first lens that I bought and uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go shoot uh, some night photography. Alright guys, this was fun. I hope you liked this and I hope it gave you uh, tips and tricks uh, to help you find your next gear for your film cameras. And maybe not next videos, but in next video, but in a future video, I certainly want to dig deeper in showing you how I use my vintage lenses with my mirrorless camera. So on that note, you know what to do and see you next time. Bye.